Cradles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> uh, this is a piece of 3mm MDF, and you might say, what on earth is he doing now? Um, I was trying to figure out what to do for, for the start of this video, and I couldn't really... Um, so, I'll just explain what the plan is. I am building a diorama, and that diorama is... the walls and floor of it are made of 3mm MDF. This is one offcut. Uh, I want the walls and possibly the floor to look like concrete, especially kind of weathered concrete. And I've never done that before, so I went online and tried to find some tutorials to do it and couldn't really find anything. I've seen lots of pictures of people doing the most amazing work with weathered concrete on dioramas and that, but I couldn't find any, any way, anyone telling me how to do it. So basically what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and figure it out for myself. <laughs> so what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> but basically what I want to do is I want to put some texture on this and then I want to make it look old or, you know, at least, un, you know, not, not maintained. So I've got here a piece of 3mm MDF, uh, which I'm going to use just as a test piece because I don't want to commit to my diorama until I, quite, <laughs> until I know roughly what I'm doing, <laughs> as if that will ever be the case. Um, so I'm going to use this. Now, uh, I've also got here, this is uh, some filler, um, and this filler is, let me get a coffee stirrer, this has actually started going off a bit, I might actually put a bit of water in this, because this was some filler, filler that I had. Um, and it started going off so I mixed some water with it and I put a bit too much water in it and it went like paste and it was actually quite effective so but it's actually started drying out now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more water in it just to get it back to paste again so let's just get a bit of water in there and I'm just literally going to put a few drops in because it's um, it's so easy to, to put far too much in which is what I did before Oop, that's more than enough. That's probably too much. And then we'll mix this in. And like I say, you can do this with... This is just normal, like, cheapo household filler. But you see the texture of that has changed. It's now gone more like a paste. It's going to have lumps in it, but I'm not really worried about that. Um, so, that will do for that for a minute. Now, if we take our piece of MDF... Now, what I want to do, because... Obviously MDF is quite smooth and I don't know how well this is going to stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roughly divide this in half. Um, like that. And I'm going to take a sanding sponge and I'm just going to rough up one side of it. like that just to knock that shiny covering off now this is like this is very shiny and this side now isn't so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take actually before I do anything I'm going to put a bit of another bit of uh, kitchen roll down under this because I think this is going to get messy but I'm going to take this um, and I'm going to put some on here and I'm going to put it on in a really thin layer So I'll just put it on all over first and then see that's creating, I don't know if you can see that very well um, but that's creating quite a nice texture on there uh, let's put a bit on the other side but this is why you want it quite sort of thin and watery um, so you can spread it out very thin. It's almost like spreading a piece of bread. That's even better, actually. Okay, now... I'm going to hit this with a hairdryer. 
and dry it off and we'll uh, come back and see what it looks like. Right, so I just hit this with a hairspray, uh, hairspray, hair dryer for a few minutes. Um, it's not completely dry, but it's it's dry enough. Um, so what I'm going to do now is actually, it's stuck to both sides really well. So I don't think we need to worry about sanding it too much. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some colour on it. Uh, and then we'll look at how we're going to weather it. So let me get some paints and things and we'll go from there. Right, so I've got a, a palette out and I've got some paints here. So to start with, I've got uh, a neutral grey. Um, it, these are all just cheap acrylics from Hobbycraft. But this one's neutral grey, so we use that as our base colour. And then I've got a selection of uh, the usual suspects, so uh, burnt umber, uh, yellow ochre, raw sienna, black, and I've also got this uh, this grass green, which I thought might do for a bit of uh, like mould and stuff, but we'll we'll do that probably last. So what we're going to do is we'll start with the grey we'll put just a coat of this on first and that will give us just like you know a concrete colour to start with so let's put some of this on shouldn't need a great deal of this I've just got a um, this is a bold me a half inch flat brush uh, so I'm just gonna just paint this on I'll give the whole thing a coat of this um, and then we'll start adding some uh, colors to it right so that's our uh, gray base coat on one of the things that's actually quite good about this is where I just roughly put the uh, the filler on and there were a few bits that didn't get covered it actually creates, I don't know whether you can see it, if I kind of tip it around a bit um, there are some interesting contrasts in the texture and I actually really like that effect, I think that looks really good because it looks like the wall is deteriorating which is exactly what I was looking for so uh, yeah I actually quite like that, so I think we're off to a good start here so yes, onwards Okay, so next I'm going to go with a, a black wash and I want to do this quite thin. So I'm just going to get a little bit of paint in here. Okay, let's put this on. You see, this really makes the uh, the detail pop but I don't want it too thick if you see what I mean because I don't want it to uh, darken the wall too much I mean obviously if it comes out a bit patchy that's fine because it's meant to look old and worn so a bit of, a bit of patch doesn't hurt if that makes sense Right, let's dry this off and see what it looks like. Right, so there we go with the wash applied. Uh, it probably looks a bit darker on screen than it actually is in, in reality, but that looks pretty good. Now, what I want to do is just put a little bit of discoloration on it. So I'm going to use some of my uh, acrylics here to just put a few kind of blotches of different colour on. So we'll use our... Oh. Burnt Umber, oh. Raw Sienna and Yellow Ochre. And then we'll add some water to each of those. And we'll just add a slight blotches here and there. I'm 
just going to use some water to uh, kind of move it around a bit. Make it look like streaks running down the wall and stuff like that. In fact, actually, if I just tip this up, it's doing the job on its own. <laughs> you can see it's just running down the wall. I quite like that. <laughs> right, let's... Uh, Try a bit of this one. Just go around the sides of the. Uh, just to kind of blend it a little. Do a couple of streaks on its own. See what that looks like. Again, just let that run down. I don't know whether you can see that on the camera, but it's just. Uh, just running down the wall. I like that. I like the effect that it gives. Alright, let's uh, do the same again with our yellow ochre. Let that run down. So you can kind of mix and match them as well. Just put different, just put like a, a blob of a different colour in there and just let it. Let it mix up. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Right, let's try something else. What I want to do is get a cotton bud and just and you see, it's kind of just soaking it up a bit. It's actually interesting because it's lifting the, the black off as well and leaving like a, a lighter spot on the wall. I like that, that's a great effect. We'll just go around the edges a little bit in places. Because it makes it more of a discoloration rather than a a strong stain if you see what I mean. Do you know what we need to do? I just had a thought. We need to get some of our green in here. See I think for the green what we want to do is sort of focus on the edges and the corners. Oh, I like that. Right, I just had a thought actually. Let's try something. This is just a bit of sponge. So I'll just tear a bit of that off and just oh yeah look at that <laughs> that looks great that looks positively disgusting Like that, that's that that's looking really good. Right, let's just mix and match some colours now. Well, I don't think that looks too bad, does it? That looks quite grotty and disgusting. <laughs> 
let's um, let's let this dry out and uh, and see what it looks like when it's dry. Right, so here it is now. It's dry, and uh, I think you'll agree that looks not bad at all. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I could just leave it like this, and it will look fine. Um, but what the other thing I want to try and do is make it look like the wall's been painted and then the paint has peeled off and revealed this underneath so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a coat of varnish um, this is the uh, the Humbrol rattle can just basically because it's easy um, so I'm going to give it quite a heavy coat of this and then um, let that dry and then we'll try something else after that Right, so here it is with a coat of uh, gloss varnish on it. And what I'm going to try now, and I really don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to try and chip this with some hairspray. <laughs> so this is our liqueur from Aldi. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a good heavy spritz of this, let it dry for a minute, and then uh, put some paint on it. So let me put this on quickly, and then uh, we'll talk about what we're going to do next. Right, so I've got the hairspray on there and what I've got also is some white, this is again an acrylic Humbrol spray can um, and I think it's just because this is going to be a lot quicker than using an airbrush um, but we'll give it a coat with this and I might actually try a couple of different colours across it and see which one works best so let me spray this on and we'll see what it looks like Right, so uh, what I've done here is I've sprayed some white straight over the concrete I have sprayed some grey over this end and then I put a bit of white over the grey and what I'm going to do now is see if I can chip this and I'm going to try a few different things and I don't know if they're going to work but we'll give it a go and we'll see what happens right so I don't know if this tape is going to be strong enough but this is just masking tape and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around itself like that and then I'm going to try and I might need to wet this first but oh no I think it's working a bit it's just kind of oh no it's working it's coming off see on the tape there it's coming off ah, it's stuck to my I think it's stuck to my fingers more than it's stuck to the paint ah. everybody's here now thanks Yes, my daughter's here. Say hello, Katie. Hello, Katie. Always the comedian. Anyway, uh, let's have a keep on at this and see how we do. I think I might need to wet this a bit first. I think that's actually gone right through there back to the MDF, but yeah, whatever. Right, we'll just let that soak for a minute and then we'll try it again. Right, let's try this again. Oh. I think the trouble is now, because it's slightly damp, it won't... It won't stick to the tape at all. I might need a, a stronger tape. Because I've seen people do this, but they do it with like sellotape and... And, um, and uh, even like duct tape and stuff. Which is obviously a lot stronger than this. Let me find some better tape. Right, so we've just got a roll of sellotape here. Let's get a bit of this and try that again. So same deal as before, roll it back on itself and then let's see what this does. Oh, that's lifting it off much better. See that coming off there. Ugh.
trouble is the tape loses its stick so quickly. Let's try something actually. Let's try being a little bit more brutal with it. Let's put that on there like that. Push it down. Like that. And then we'll do that. Oh, that's worked quite well. I quite like that. <laughs> Let's try that again. That's a, that's, it's like a much better way of doing it. In fact, it might have taken a bit too much off, but uh, put that across there. I suppose if you didn't press it down so hard, it probably wouldn't pull as much off, but. Right, let's just work that right onto it and then. Oh, yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's the way forwards. Let's do a bit more of that. Let's try and get on the edges a bit. Because the thing is with this tape is it's obviously a lot stickier, even though it's only cheap stuff, it's a lot stickier than masking tape which is designed to peel off without damaging the paint, whereas we want the exact opposite. Yeah, that's working quite well. Let's do a bit more on this end. So I think if you just want a little bit coming off, you can just like, you know, pat it with the tape as I was doing before. And if you want a lot, then you can just do that, basically. There we go. Yeah, I think that's... It's like a sign. Eh? So it looks like a sign. A sign? It's a sign. Well, that's because I stuck a stick on it to hold it. But yeah, I suppose it does look quite billboardy. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's looking not too bad. So I think what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to go back to our acrylics and do some washes and things on this again, just but in a much smaller amount, um, and just. Uh, dirty it up a bit more. Right, so I've got me four muckying up colours again. Let's see what we can do with this. So this wants to be a little bit more subtle. We don't want too much. We just want a bit of kind of like discoloration. Especially around the edges and that. I think I'll use our sponge again because that actually worked very well the last time. I'm going to put some of this on fairly haphazardly and use it just to tone this white down a bit. And then get a bit of tissue and just gently blot it off.
like that. And then Do some streaks down the wall as well. Look like the water's been running down the walls. A little bit heavier in places as well. See, the, this bit here is actually gone right back through to the MDF, but it, it doesn't matter. We'll just stain that a bit and make it look like it's meant to be there. Oh, that looks gross, I like that. Alright. I think we'll leave that to dry and see what it looks like. Right, so uh, here it is now it's dried. I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it a coat of this uh, Humbrol matte varnish just to seal it all. And then we'll see what that looks like. And I think then we'll be pretty much done. So here is the uh, finished article. Uh, I must say I am very pleased with how this has come out. Um, I said earlier I really struggled to find uh, tutorials to do this kind of thing. Um, and certainly ones that were actually any good. But uh, yeah, so this was you know, a lot of trial and error. Uh, but it's come out very, very well. I'm very pleased with this. So I think it's worked a lot better on the white than it has on the grey, which is kind of what I thought. And to be honest, I'm fine with that because it's the white I was more interested in anyway um, but uh, yeah you will definitely see me using this technique uh, in an upcoming uh, diorama build so keep an eye out for that uh, but in the meantime uh, hopefully this has been of uh, use to some of you it's certainly been very helpful for me and uh, thanks very much for watching I'll see you on the next video cheers bye